so it is almost that time of year it's time to get spooky we're gonna go with a bit of a skull theme today i bought this from tk maxx which anyone who's anyone knows that tk maxx and home sense are the places to go this time of year i'm thinking we're gonna go with a bit of a pearly skull don't know how it's gonna turn out as you know I wing these things so we shall see to get us in the mood we've got some decor on the go and um, this is my skull that I bought a few years ago from HomeSense and I just wanted to showcase this to you so this is a candle from my lovely friend Sean's company called Regions Beyond and he's got a Halloween range of candles out at the moment I'll pop the link below so please go and check him out I am all about supporting independent businesses and he puts so much effort and passion into these candles they're all hand poured the Halloween range as well they're really nice uh, they're not just like the scents in scent pods that you'd find at scare attractions they're actually beautiful fragrances that you actually want in your house so I think we've got this one it's just a haunted mansion one which is described as wooden hallways and creepy furniture Furnishings. Go and check them out and have a look. I'm gonna keep this lit while we create to help get me in the mood because it makes my house smell like a haunted mansion and I love that. Um, I might move it from there actually um, because I'm gonna be airbrushing so that might be a little bit dangerous but we'll pop it over there. Yeah, I'm winging it as always. So to start with, I've got my Kryolan airbrush and I've got air-based white which is water-based airbrush paint and I'm just gonna spray this. I'm not gonna do a solid white base. I personally, don't like the feel of a really perfect solid white base on my skin. If you focus the white on the prominent areas like the cheekbones for example and then just do a really light mist everywhere else you're almost using that skin tone as an extra layer of shadow and creating an extra layer of depth within it rather than just having layers of thick product on and then you have to go in and create even more layers on top to define it. Okay, so I'm aware how creepy this looks I'm speaking to, it's very strange. You can see what I mean, I've kind of picked the high points, I've kind of sketched out a bit of a basic idea of the rib cage and where things go on the face. With some silver, <laughs> now I'm going to go in with some silver, which is air base again, and I'm going to start using this to kind of define everything, but this should only really be like a subtle define. You can see it started to take shape a little bit more but yeah it's still really subtle also I actually quite like using the silver rather than a grey because of how it captures and reflects the light I think I'm gonna just give this a minute or two to dry because it is water-based airbrush paint so it needs it you can still see the few little wet patches then I think we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow I'm going in with a swear by it palette from NYX I don't know if they've changed the formula or something but these eyeshadows are probably some of the best I've tried from NYX so there's some really nice colors we're gonna go in with some of these grays and create a bit of an eyeshadow look I've just gone in with the Meron metallic powder in silver for this hyper pigmented silver that is just insane So I've just used different shadows from the Swear By It palette from NYX, the greys and the black to just start defining all this. I'm going to do, because it's an eyeshadow and not a paint, therefore it's still quite loose. It does adhere to the airbrush paint that I laid down as a base, but it still has movement. So because I'm happy with this as it is at the moment, I'm going to go in with a setting spray just to set it before I move on to this area. And I'm going to use the matte finish setting spray from NYX. Thank you. 
So I've done the same again but over on the chest. I've not done it as defined um, because it would take forever. I have a very short attention span when it comes to being patient for these things. So I've done it quite rough because I'm going to do detail over the top anyway. So there's no point me spending forever on it. Um, but yeah, I've just gone in with the shadows and also uh, you probably saw I went back in with the airbrush to just pick out some of the white highlights again and also to add a little bit of a texture to the background. I want to add some silver detail now, but I think before I do that, I'm going to start adding some of my adornments and embellishments because I want to establish the flow of things first, I guess, before I go in with all my swirly fancy details. So I'm going to grab my pearls and my jewels and become a bit of a pearly skull queen. I've added these here. I can't open my mouth very much. <laughs> and I've done this bit here and a little bit coming up here. Now I'm going to go in with the Meron Metallic Powder in silver and I'm going to use the mixing liquid with it which is going to make it really nice to paint with. So miserable. go in with a little bit of glitter and the eyelids. Um, I've got the Glitter Glows palette from NYX here. I'm going to put that on and then lashes. I don't know if white lashes will work. I'll try it. So yeah, I think we're done. I'm just going to paint my hand, sort my mess of a hair out, and then I'm going to get my pose on. I find it hilarious, so I'm trying to be really enthusiastic, but I can't move my face. Um, it's not really practical in this area here. Wearing it out and about, this bit here, this feels like it will stay put, but I can't really move my face very much, so... There we go, but I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to try and do a few more for this Halloween. Not sure how many I can actually squeeze in because life's a bit busy right now. Thank you for watching if you stayed here all of this time and I'll catch you soon.